Hi, thanks for joining. I'm Clint Cameron, and I am a product marketing manager for SonarSource. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how SonarCube integrates into your Bitbucket workflow and how that's valuable for your team. Developers love to write better code, and feedback is an important part of that process. They ask for feedback from their teammates to find problems and to improve their code. And of course, they want minimal distractions. There's no doubt developers spend a lot of time in Bitbucket, and they use pull requests. And so this is where we should add our value. So let's see firsthand how SonarCube integrates with Bitbucket and what it does for your PRs. This feature is available starting with Developer Edition, and it's easy to request a free trial online at sonarcube.org. Now, before we see that live demo, let's take a quick look at a typical workflow. It starts with SonarLint in your IDE. SonarLint is a free open source add-in that finds bugs, vulnerabilities, and code smells as you write your code. And it's available for four popular IDEs, VS Code, Visual Studio, Eclipse, and IntelliJ. Okay, so now once we've finished writing our code and we're ready to open that PR, let's do that in Bitbucket. Then we're gonna go ahead and kick off our CI systems. And with that, we can automatically kick off a Sonar Cube analysis. And when that analysis is done, it's gonna decorate right back into the pull request with any issues found. Okay, let's see that demo. Here we have an open pull request in Bitbucket. And up in the right-hand corner, we can see the Sonar Cube decoration. And it looks like we have a problem. So let's click on that to get some more information. And you can see that we have a failed quality gate. And the failed quality gate is due to 0% security hotspots reviewed. For this particular quality gate that we're using for this demonstration, we require 100% review of security hotspots. So there's some work to do. Now that's easy to do. We can drill down into issues by clicking there and opening up SonarCube. And here we can see the same code metrics and the same issues that we saw in the pull request. And here's that pesky security hotspot. Let's take a closer look. That's gonna take us to our security hotspots dedicated review page. And here we can see we have a potential cross-site request forgery issue. Okay, as a developer, I would then make the, I would review the code and make a determination as to whether or not this was truly an issue. Now for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and mark that as safe. We'll change the status and boom, no more security hotspots to review. And if we go back and take a look at our pull request, we can see we now have a passing quality gate. And so we can feel confident to merge this code. So you can see for Bitbucket, we bring a consistent, valuable feature set with every pull request. And that starts with the right information in the right place at the right time. Furthermore, we give you a quality gate and metrics right in that Bitbucket pull request. You also saw the ability to block a merge with that pull request when we had an issue. You also saw how we were able to drill right down into that issue in SonarCube. We changed the status and that gave us a live update back into the Bitbucket PR. Now, for now we have support for Bitbucket Server. Bitbucket Cloud is on our roadmap for a future SonarCube release. Now there's a lot to discover in the product dropdown on the SonarCube homepage, including a page dedicated to our Bitbucket integration. That's it for the video. At SonarSource, we're not done adding value. Future SonarCube versions will add even more good vibes and keep you writing clean, safe code. Be sure to check out the rest of our YouTube videos and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.